Hello boys and girls, in this video I'm going to show you how to order and compare decimals. Let's say we have this number list here, like 3 and 8 thousandths, uh, 3 and 825 thousandths, and 3 and uh, 9 hundredths, and lastly 3 and 18 hundredths. And we want to order these numbers from least to greatest. Alright, so we have to take a couple steps. The first step that we need to take is to create a place value chart. So I've gone over ahead and um, and uh, created a place value chart here. And um, I want you to pay close attention to this part right here. This is the decimal point. And I want to make sure that I order all the numbers by the decimal point. So we take that list of numbers and we put the numbers on the chart by the decimal point. So the first number was three and eight thousands. Uh, the second number was three and 825,000. Then we had three and nine hundreds and three and eighteen hundredths. Okay, now that I have the numbers ordered on the list uh, by their decimal point, I want to go ahead and do step three, which is filling the gaps with zeros. And what I mean by gaps is I mean these spots right here. If you notice, these two numbers have uh, a third number over here to the right, and these two don't. So I want to go ahead and fill those empty spots with zeros. So I just put a zero here and a zero there. Now I can compare these numbers because they have the same amount of digits, so it's easier to compare. So step four, compare the numbers from left to right. So let's start on the left side. So here, if we take a look, we all, all the numbers have a three in the ones place. So there's really no, nothing we can do with that. We can't compare it because they're all the same thing. So we take a look at just the right side of the decimal point. So I'm, let me go ahead and highlight that for you. Let's take a look at only this side of the decimal point. Ignore this side because all the digits are the same there right now. So let's compare these numbers. When we compare these numbers, we can see that, excuse me, um, eight is the smallest number. So we put a one by there. I always write myself a little note, that way I can refer to it quicker. And then the second number that's the smallest one here is the 90. Then I have 180 and 825. As you can see, I was only able to do that because I filled in the empty spots with the zeros. So now that I have the numbers ordered from least to greatest over here on the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and answer the question, which was to order the numbers from least to greatest. So I write my first digit, which is three and, excuse me, three and eight thousands, comma, uh, three and nine hundreds. And notice how I'm writing the original numbers, not with the zeros. And then I have three and 18 uh, hundreds and lastly I have 3 and 825 thousandths. So there you have it. That's how you order the numbers from least to greatest. And you can do the same thing when you order them from greatest to least as well. Now let's take a look at how uh, we can use this. Okay, So let's go ahead and practice. <clears throat> I have here another list of numbers and I'm going to go ahead and put those numbers uh, over here on the decimal place chart or the place value chart, and I'm going to line them up by the decimal point. So I'm going to go ahead and just write a decimal point going all the way down. Okay, so I have five and three hundreds, five and thirty hundreds, three and five tens, and three and five hundreds. Again, make sure you fill in those empty spaces with zero so you can compare the numbers uh, quickly like that. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at first the left side. That's the whole number side, and I'm going to compare those numbers. I see here that um, 3 and 3, and if I'm comparing these from least to greatest, by the way, uh, 3 and 3 are both the smallest numbers, right, because they're smaller than 5. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look now at the right side of both of those numbers, and I'm going to compare 50 and 5. So which one's smaller between 50 and 5? Well, of course, the 5, right? So then this digit right here ends up being the smallest. So I'm going to put a 1 by that. And automatically, this one is the second smallest. So I'm going to put a 2 by that. All right. So now that I'm done with those two, I only have to compare the top two numbers. So I notice that both of them have a 5 in the holes. So I'm going to ignore those. And I'm going to compare just the right side of the decimal. So 3 and 30. Well, this one is smaller up here, so I'm going to put a 3 there and a 4 over here because that one is the greatest number. So if I were to write these numbers in order from least to greatest, it would be 3 and 500, 
three and fifty. Oh, I'm sorry, not fifty. Five tens, because remember we're writing the original numbers. Then we have um, five and three hundreds, and lastly, five and thirty hundreds. So there you have it. Now let's compare two numbers. Let's say it's presented to you this way where you have two numbers and then the comparison uh, bubble in the middle where you have to put less than, greater than, or equal to. There's an easy way of doing this. Just line up the decimals, the decimal numbers um, by the decimal point. So I'm going to write one of the digits, 8 and 74 hundreds. I'm going to put my decimal place there and I'm going to write the other number on the bottom, 8 and 99 thousandths. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna compare them like I did the other lists. So the eights are both the same, no need to compare that. And I'm gonna fill this empty spot with a zero. So now I have 740 compared to 99. Which one is smaller out of those two? This one, okay? So therefore, the mouth will eat the bigger number, which is the eight and 74 hundreds. So the symbol that goes in here is greater than. Let's practice some of that. So here I have 68 hundredths compared to 92 thousandths. I'm going to line up those numbers by their decimal points. And now I'm going to fill in the empty spots with a zero. Nothing to compare on the left side of the decimal because they're both zeros. Now I'm just going to compare the right side of the decimal. So I have 680 compared to 92. This one is the smaller one, so therefore the mouth eats the 680. Therefore, it'll be the symbol that goes in there is uh, greater than. Lastly, we have 4 and 5 tenths compared to 4 and 483 thousandths. Fill in those empty spots with zeros. These two are the same, no need to compare them. 500 and 483, this one is smaller, therefore the mouth will eat the 5 tenths in this case. So again, we have greater than symbol that goes in there. All right, boys and girls, thank you for watching. That was how to order and compare decimals. And uh, please visit mr.nestinunez.com if you want to learn some more about that. Thank you.